is this a real or a fake gemstone? Go ahead and put your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. There are a ton of different red gems out there, so let's start testing. First off, since every gem bends light a little differently, we're gonna use the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. Going in, it looks like we're around a 1.57 or so, and that's too low for ruby, but it is what we see in the barrel family. So could this be an extremely rare red barrel? Using polarized light, we're kind of getting a soft blink, but it's not a very clear reading, so it's a perfect time to use the dichroscope. Basically, we're gonna check to see if the same or different colors are in the two squares. These colors are the same, so that means this is singly refractive. Common singly refractive gems are garnet and spinel, and of course, imitations like glass and plastic, so let's see if we can find any clues in the microscope. The first thing I'm seeing is there are a number of abrasions around the table, which could mean this gem is quite soft. There's also a conchoidal fracture here, and we find this in a lot of natural gems along with glass and plastic, so it's not super helpful here. Looking inside the gem, it's very clean, and I don't see any inclusions to help us identify this. So what is this? Since we have a 1.57 RI, but this gem is singly refractive, it cannot be red barrel. Plus red spinel and garnet varieties have a higher RI than this. This gem is also super clean on the inside and seems quite soft, so this can only be a glass or plastic imitation. But which one? There's an easy way to find out. Plastic floats or suspends in water and glass will sink. This one went right to the bottom, so this is a red glass imitation gemstone.